to another message from the Living Well Embassy, where we first seek the Kingdom of God and His righteousness. Join us now for the message in progress given by Lauren Foster, preacher at the Living Well Embassy. We are thirsty. We need another drink. We need another time. one thing we got to start teaching is that our Father, our God, really does want to have a relationship with you. That's why he sent his Son to unite us back with him. So all I am here today is a vessel that's pointing you to him. Even Jesus himself gave all the credit and all the honor to God when he did things. And it's time, I believe, even as I prayed this year and this morning, he... God's really been showing me. He says, son, I'm doing a major shift. You know, when you do a shift in your life, it's, it's, it's a transformation that really shakes you to your core. But God's doing this because he, he wants to manifest his glory here on earth as it is in heaven. And somebody say right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. See, the things he's been teaching me and I've wondered, Lord, you know, I've been driving truck for a semi over the road for over 40 some years of my life and when I was 38 years young the Lord got a hold of me and I'll tell you when once he got a hold of me uh, in that truck that truck became a sanctuary to me a lot of people don't realize but it came a sanctuary to me why because in that semi cab you're all alone so when God wants to speak to you he has your undivided attention because <laughs> it's you and him and that's all that's to it and sometimes, I hope you realize, sometimes, like people have asked me, Lauren, how do you really hear the voice of God? I says, try to be as quiet as you can. Get all the distractions out of your life. Just go sit out on a stump. Just go, just take a drive and park somewhere in a park and say, Lord, I need to hear your voice today. So I'm going to be still, clear my mind, and Lord, speak to my heart. And watch what God has start to download on it. Because if it's one thing our Father loves, it's kind of like when your kids come to you and say, hey, mom, can I talk to just you? Or dad, can I come and just talk to you? Uh, yes. And you got their undivided attention. Well, that's what God wants of us because as I've, there's a lot of things I can share, but I can tell you this. And I want everybody to look at themselves a little bit today. J just look at yourself right now and say, there is not another me. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. There never has been. Amen. And there never will be Amen. Amen. another me. Boy, am I unique. <laughs> I'm, I'm something. You are. Somebody say hallelujah to that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So really, when you think of how, uh, you know, they talk about antiques, the rareness of a product ups the value. Mm. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So can I ask you, if there's never been another you, never will be another you, how rare are you? Come on. Mm -hmm. See, I want some of these things to sink into you because the devil, the enemy of your soul, he works overtime to try to tell you you're no good. Truth. Mm -hmm. You can't do that, right? You're worthless. Can I say this? You'll never amount 
to a hill of beans. How many times have you heard that? Come on. You know what I found out, E-Man? I crawled up on top of the beans. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. My six sense of humor. I just... That's good. You got, you know, you start to learn some of these things, and especially, especially when God starts using you because you, and I, and I pray today in the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, that uh, we, we, we're taking authority in this place and this property and the owner of this property has given us legal authority to say in Jesus' name, any spirit that's not willing to bow its knee and say that Jesus is Lord, Everybody say, be gone right now. Be gone. Be gone. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Do you know that you have that authority? Jesus. Yes. Yeah. See, we're, we're stepping into a place, into a realm today in the name of Jesus that, but as, and, and I want to get this, I want, I want things to be such a blessing to you and God wants to bless us. He says, he says, here's the best way you can do it, son. I says, go ahead, Lord, just teach me. Because unless we learn from you, we don't know how to do it. Mm -hmm. And God says, listen, he says, if you'll come before me hungry and thirsty, I will fill you to overflow. Okay, Lord, what does that mean? He says this, come to me today empty. <laughs> what? Yes. Come, to, come to me today not with any preconceived conception, uh, preconceived ideas, I'm, I'm a God that does some of the rarest things you ever saw. So he says, if you'll just empty yourself out, just be an empty vessel today and say, Lord, here I am. You fill me. Yes. Fill me to overflow. And Lord, I want to receive everything you have because I believe that today is the day the Lord has made and we're going to rejoice in it. Yes. Amen. 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 So Lord, we're empty. You're the water of life. You're the breath of life. And without you, we have no life. Amen. So, Lord, fill us to overflow and renew our mind that we're not conformed to this world's way of thinking, but we be transformed by the renewing of the word of God that can now penetrate in us. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 You guys ready for a blessing? Yes. yes. As we worship, I want you to do this today because it took me years to get here because being raised in a church, you know, I thought you had to be, you know, shh, <laughs> shh. Shh. Yes. But but how come uh, inside me I'm going, yeah, I'm going to jump. Huh? <laughs> yeah, hallelujah. <laughs> Don't you move. Because daddy will slap you. Mama will get you. <laughs> I'm speaking truth. I know I've been there. But after a while, going to the church that God led me go to at 38 years young, I thought to myself, Lord, something's missing. I said, something's missing. Lord, show me. He says, son, think about it. When you go to a wedding, what is one of the things they do at a wedding ceremony? They dance. Okay. Especially the bride and the bridegroom even get their own dance. Right. And then others can join in. <laughs> yeah. You know, a lot of people say, well, Lord, what are you preaching? I'm preaching, I'm preaching the joy of the Lord is my strength. Yes. And I've learned something about worship. True, he, God said in his word, he says, enter my courts with thanksgiving, but worship me in the inner court. See, a lot of people keep wanting to stay in the outer courts. Mm -hmm. God says, I want you to enter into worship. Lord, what is worth -ship? The more, The more that I know him, he is worth every breath I take, Amen. every hand that I can surrender. That's true worship. When you get to the point of worship, when you can stand there or lay on your face before God, say, I surrender it all to you. He says, good. I've been waiting for you to surrender it all to me. When you surrender it all to me, then I can surrender it all to you. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen? Mm -hmm. That's what worship is. I'm going to read this. Listen to what it says here. In Psalms 24, the Lord's desire is that Man cannot live on bread alone, but he can live on every word, come on, that has proceeded from the mouth of God. Yes. If daddy, God, if God, if he said it, 
I can live on it. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now that's nutrition, guys. <laughs> Psalms 24. The earth is the Lord's. Say amen. 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 Can I ask you something? If the earth belongs to the Lord, do you think man is going to be able to destroy that something God says, no, this is mine. You can try to destroy it, but the earth is still mine. Yeah. So do what you want, guys. The earth is the Lord's and all its fullness. The world and those who dwell therein. It's all the Lord's. Mm -hmm. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart. Who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him, who seek his face. Yeah, we're seeking your face today, Lord. Lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up your everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Say, Lord, come on in. Come on in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates. Lift up your everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. You kind of feel like, boy, I'm ready to praise him. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. I pray today that your ears of your understanding will be enlightened. Your eyes will see a whole new understanding of who God is. Yes. You know, they ask in the Bible one day, the Lord asked his own disciples. He asked his own disciples, who do the people say that I am? And the disciples said, well, some say John the Baptist. Say prophet. 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 Uh, some say Elijah. Say prophet. prophet. God was saying, you guys still don't know. I'm standing before you. And I'm asking you who the people keep. Now, I'm, I'm, think big, saints. Who do all the people out there say that Jesus is? A lot of, say, a lot of them are saying, oh, he's a good teacher. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's, he is a prophet. Oh, he's this, he's that. But then he said this. He said, who do you say that I am? Mm. Ooh, now we're getting personal. Lauren, why are you looking at me? Lord, why are you looking at me? He says, because I want to reveal who I am to you. But I got to ask you a question. I know who you are. Do you know who I am? Peter who was once Simon, who got his name changed to Peter. Mm -hmm. Peter says, ah, you're the Christ. You are the son of the living God. Mm -hmm. Jesus says to him, Peter, you are right. And upon this rock, upon this revelation, I'm going to build my ecclesia or quote my church. When Jesus asked and Peter answered, he, he, he said this, saints, I want you to get this. This is so powerful. He said this. He said, Peter, you didn't even know the answer. Yet, yet, Peter gave the answer. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to stress here is where did Peter get the answer to answer Jesus? He says, only the Father in heaven has revealed this to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man. Somebody say hallelujah. 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 So unless God, the Father, reveals it to you, man can't get it to you. Yes. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. So would, would everybody do me a favor today? Don't follow me unless I'm following him. Yes. Come on. Mm -hmm. yes. Bypass me or bypass any man, any woman, and start following the Lord himself. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because God is able to reveal to you. Why? Because he created you before you were ever in your mother's womb. Amen. That's right. Amen. This is interesting. God says, release now, Lord, before you even worship what I gave you this morning. Because you guys are ready. See, God says right now, you guys are drawing off him. 
Say amen. 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 I wrote it down. Because <clears throat> God asked me this question, Lord, before we worship you. He said this, and this is for everybody that's listening to my voice. Ready? Do you know what sets you free? Can everybody say yes or no? Yeah. Yes. 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 Some can, some can't. Should we find out what sets us free? See, when God speaks to me, I know this much. He says, I've anointed you, Lauren. I've appointed you. I've anointed you to set the captives free. Yes. And I'm here today standing before you that some of us here and some realms in our life, we're captive yet. Mm -hmm. But God says, I'm about to set you free. And when you learn these keys, these principles, you, you can start living with freedom. And be unshackled to the things that are hindering you in your daily life, your occupation, your marriage, your family, your business. He sets you free. So again, do you know what sets you free? Look up John 8.32. Do you got it? Yeah. What? <laughs> it says, yeah, we got it. What does it say? The truth shall set you free. Well, can I ask you something? What is truth? So then we got to jump over to what? John 14, 6. So what sets you free? Say truth. 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 But what is truth? Life in the Father. I am the way. What? Say it again. I am the way. Keep going. The truth. The truth <laughs> and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Amen. Amen. <laughs> See, I'm looking at you and everybody, everybody I've seen in the realm of the spirit. You're all going, yeah, yeah. Now, now that I finally got some knowledge. Oh, it's not that I only have knowledge this morning. I actually got wisdom from above. I got knowledge from the Lord. And now I even gained some understanding. Yes. Mm -hmm. Until you gain the understanding, do you understand that you can't apply it to your life? Yeah. Truth. Yeah. I heard the word for a long, long time, but mm -hmm. I never could apply it to my life so the truth could set me free. But once I started walking in this, I had to quit. I'm going to be gentle. I had to quit listening to a whole lot of church stuff <laughs> and yes. start listening to God. He says, I'll set you free, son. What? Whatever arena you're in, if you're in financial trouble, I can set you free. Mm -hmm. If you're dealing with a sickness or a disease, I can set you free. Mm -hmm. If you're, if you're in bondage and stuff with depression, anger, unforgiveness, I can set you free. See, I already feel freedom coming in here. Yes. Because where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Amen. Yes. Amen. Say freedom. 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 You guys hear me? So here's why I'm here today. We're sitting in a time and a season in our lives right now. That the truth must be released to all people. Amen. Amen. We need, I want to say this correctly, when Jesus did his first miracle, turning water into wine. wine. What a principle. What a story that he was saying. And in that, as, they, as he turned the water into wine, they said, Master, You've saved the best until now. now. Say now. 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 You mean the best is now? Some of you are looking at me saying, I want to get out of here. Now, Lauren, you're telling me the best is now? <laughs> say now. 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 Yesterday is gone. Somebody say amen. 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 A lot of things have happened. That's right. The future is out there before us. Amen. Mm -hmm. but, but where are you guys living? Now. In the now. So when is the best? Now. now. Now is the best. See, God says, everything that I'm going to teach you, and this is a revelation because he says, he said, write this down. We need a revelation of who he is. See, brother, the only thing you can release is what you've been taught or what you're walking. In. But once God releases it to you, do you understand that it's not for you? It's for everybody around you. Wherever, brother, wherever you walk in, you're a blessing coming in. You just bless everybody and then you walk back out. And, and they say, who was that? 
Who yes. was that dude that came in here? Yes. Poof, spread out and then left. The blessing stays there. You, 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 you're a blessing coming in. But okay, he says, "Son, that that's what you're walking in. We're doing something different here with worship." He, he says, "I'm I'm I'm tuning." God says, "I'm tuning you guys all in to worship me because when you worship me, I'm hearing something in the realm of the spirit." He says, "When you worship me, I'm going to start doing things in you and for you that you and I have no knowledge of." Say, "That's glory, glory, glory. that's glory." Yes. This is where God wants us to go. Now here's where here's where we're going today. We need say I need, I need, I need. A, revelation a revelation of who Jesus is. Of who Jesus is. Because he even asked his own disciples, "Who do you say that I am?" And only the Father in heaven revealed it to Peter. Yeah. Come on, only the Father. See, the Holy Spirit knows the mind and the will of God. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit can now live in you. I'm going to make a statement right now. I'm glad you're recording this because when I learned this a few weeks ago, as God says, son, I'm going to get you so tuned in. It's going to be like slicing hot butter with the word that you're going to give. Are you all ready for this? Yes. yes. God, the father, sent a gift, his son, for eternal life. The son then sent the gift of the Holy Spirit for this life. Everybody get that? Yes. God, you don't think, everybody knows John 3.16, don't they? Does everybody know that verse? Let's read it. Got the verse? John 3.16? Mm-hmm. You want me to read it? Please. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Hey, church. Yes. How does a person get saved? Yeah, he already told you. We we got, a lot of people have asked him. me, a lot of people have asked me, Lauren, can you prove to me, can you prove to me that God loves me? Do you know how bad of a sinner I am? Do you know that I've lied, cheated, stole, blah, 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 blah? And God still loves me. God said in his word, I, Lord, yes, my Lord, I loved you and yet you were a sinner. Mm -hmm. See, God's teaching me, he says, son, do you know what sin really is? A lot of people say, I've heard of that, but what is sin? I'll make it simple for you today, okay? Sin is any type of rebellion against God. I rebelled <laughs> against God for 38 years of my life. And bo I, brother, sister, I'm so glad there's grace and mercy. Oh, amen. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm, I'm glad I didn't get in a truck accident at 36 years old <laughs> and die. Right. But he says, son, I'm going to teach you something. Yes, my Lord. He says, at 38 years young, how would you like to take the, the sting of death away from you right now? And you'll never have to worry about death again. I won't? I says, wow, I don't know what kind of program this is. I don't know what kind of institution this is. But if you could take the sting of death, does everybody understand you're going to die one day? Yes. yes. But here's That's the beautiful so part. Scary. If you already deal with death, you don't have to worry about dying. Because when we die, we gain. Amen. Yes. Somebody say hallelujah. 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 You know what I figured out? I figured out that when when God when when the Lord when the Lord died, quote, took on death, the sting of death, he thought of me, so death, hell, and the grave was conquered through Jesus. Mm -hmm. I received that by faith. Yes. Now on the third day he rose. Well, if he died for me, what did he rise for? Mm -hmm. To make you become the righteousness of God. Say hallelujah. 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 So God so loved us. That he gave his only, say only, only, only begotten son. That he says, say level playing field. Level playing field. Whosoever, good, bad, ugly, culture, doesn't matter. Whosoever believeth in me and what I've done, you can also receive what I've done. Did you get that? Mm -hmm. Yes. He took the sting of death away. And then what I learned, 
He says, son, now that you've conquered in me, and now I'm in you by the Holy Spirit, receive me. He says, now you can go set the captives free and start to preach and teach and demonstrate that you can go out there and do my kingdom work on earth as it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. Haven't we prayed it? Yes. Oh, Lord, let thy kingdom come. Let thy will be done. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Saints, I really don't want, I really don't really want to go to heaven. Do you know why? I'm going to get to. But I'd rather stay here and play havoc with the enemy. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> You're looking at me like, oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> See, I'm here to poke him in the eye. Amen. Amen. See, Jesus says, I already conquered him. He, you know what he says to you, you all? He says, you guys are now more than conquerors because I already conquered him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, if, if I conquered him, and you, I'm in you and you're in me, you can go around telling the devil to get out of people's lives. Yep. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, that's some power and that's some authority. Mm -hmm. Come on. Say, I'm into this kingdom stuff. <laughs> I'm into this kingdom, kingdom stuff. stuff. See, I can start just about to dance. Why? Because I can preach myself happy. Because once you start walking in this, you get out of the boat of mediocrity and look at everybody and say, hey, you guys, if you all want to stay in the boat and you think you're going to drown and you're going to die, I'm going to get up. I'm going to get out of the boat. You going to get this now? I'm going to get out of the boat. And what, what you think is going to consume you and, and drown you, I'm going to walk on it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes. I heard this statement about a week ago, and I thought, Lord, it's deep in me. Just like you, sister, quoting scripture, it went deep in me. I heard it, and I thought, oh, my gosh. He said, son, listen to me. Yes, Lord. He said this. He said, to truly be born of God, how do you know if you're truly born of the Spirit of the living God? And I heard this statement, and it went deep in my heart. He says, I'll tell you. What's that? When you want to be like me. When the desire of your heart is to be like me. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's deep. It's not that you just want the gift of eternal life to go to heaven. When you're truly born again and you have his DNA, you have his, 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 his blood pumping in you, his spirit in you, you want to be like him. Mm -hmm. He says, now I recognize you as my son. I recognize you as my daughter. He says, now, son, yes, Lord, yes, father, now that you know me and I know you, yes, Lord, he said, get about my business. God, what is your business? He says, he says, son, it's no different from my first son. Go about making men who, men who were fishing and make them become fishers of men. Make the people, disciple them, Lauren. Go make disciples them, teaching them everything that I've taught you. Now teach them how to fish. Yes. It took me years to be discipled of where I'm at today, being a truck driver, so on and so forth. Yeah? But that's not, that's not who I am. Truck driving is what I can do. Yes. <laughs> Everybody getting this? Yes. See, we, we get some things straightened out in our heart. The devil says, huh, I hate that. I hate that. I dislike that. I don't like what the, why? Because the truth will always set you free. Because when Jesus, after he was baptized, he was led out into the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Some of you ever feel like you've been in the wilderness? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, and you know what, you know what our problem is? We hate it. Yeah. You know what God, daddy, God, you know what he says? That's the blessed place for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? I hate being here. It's, now listen to me, saints. If Jesus had to go in the wilderness, why do you think you can skip it? In the wilderness is where the enemy came in and taunted him and tried to get him to discredit his relationship with God. But Jesus kept saying what? It is written. Mm -hmm. He didn't have the Bible in front of him, but it was already written because he was the word and the word became flesh. That's mm -hmm. Jesus. He says, no, it's already written. I can't get out of, an, uh, of my righteous standing with my father. Everything I look to, I look for the father. If my father does it, I'll do it. If my father says it, I'll say it. I'm going I'm to I'm help everybody today.
Can everybody, if you would, open your Bible, go to Isaiah 9, 6 once. Because we're coming into that season again, and you're going to get a kick out of it. But I can guarantee you, as this teaching goes on today, when you go to church this Christmas, you'll be smiling inside. Because what you learned today. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. You have it, Irene? Go ahead. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. So a child is born. And a son is given. And now that son is now given. Mm -hmm. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. This is God's breathed word. And right there it said that he was going to give us a child. Did the child come? Yes. Born in the most unique way mm -hmm. of a woman that wasn't married. You know, if you had a baby back then and you weren't married, what could they do to you, mm -hmm. according to the law? Kill you. Or Stone kill you. you. Yeah. So what does God do? He comes right in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. Gets this woman pregnant of the Holy Spirit. Come on. She's a willing vessel, has to speak to her betrothed husband, mm -hmm. Joseph, and say, don't, don't, don't deny her. Take her and take care of my son. Say, so the baby's born. Mm -hmm. Most unusual way. Say, God does unpredictable things in our life. Oh, come on. Yeah. Then this child is brought up, right? Mm -hmm. And becomes a son. He's now a son. And a son now gets about his father's business. business. So at about 30 years old, what does he do? He comes trotting in and sees his cousin. Hey, John. Hey, you guys. Um, I baptize you with water unto repentance. Uh-huh. But the one that's coming, <laughs> mm -hmm. say he. he. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, he will baptize you in the Holy Spirit and in fire. See, there's somebody that's doing something to somebody to receive something from God. Mm. See, a lot of people have never received the baptism of the Holy Spirit from Jesus. Jesus says, all you had to do was ask. Amen. Are you kidding me, Lord? No, all you had to do is ask. Our God, our Father is a good, good God. Amen? Amen. Amen. We need a revelation of who He is. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to test everybody. Everybody okay so far? Yes. yes. Y'all okay? Mm -hmm. Everybody good? Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you a question. And it's not a trick one. If it's one thing I've learned about sitting where you used to sit, I wasn't ashamed to be the most foolish uninformed kid of God that you ever saw. It didn't bother me. I don't care if everybody would laugh. It didn't bother me. I had to know the truth. That's the kind of guy I am. I'm all in or all out. That's what, I, I can't do it. I got to do what my father says. Now watch this. Let me ask you something. We must, we need a revelation of who Jesus the Christ is. Now if I can ask you, each one of you, real quickly, if somebody said, who is Jesus to you? Who is Jesus to you? What would you say? My everything. Okay, my everything. My father. Father? The son of God. Who? The son of God. The son of God? Lord. Lord? My guidance. Lord and Savior. Got, had Lord before, but now we got Savior. And my King. He's my what? King. King. You're looking at me like, uh, Lauren, are we answering right or wrong? Can I, can I share something with all? You all got A pluses today. Say amen. Amen. Because he is all of those things. Mm -hmm. But here's the key. Here's the key when I was asking you before, when Jesus asked the disciples, who do they say that I am? Say, revelation comes from heaven. Revelation, revelation. comes from heaven. Because that's where God resides. He's everywhere all at once, but that's headquarters. Come on. Amen. Right? Mm -hmm. 
So he's going to send that wisdom down to us. Here's the key. Here's the key. God wants you to get to a place as you read the word of God. In Matthew, it's it, when John was explaining this, he was explaining, he says, uh, repent for the kingdom of heaven is coming. Later, he said, repent for the kingdom is now here. Say kingdom. 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 Say king dominion. King, king dominion. dominion. The king's dominion. dominion. The king Jesus has brought a government from heaven, a culture, and now is invading earth. Amen. Somebody say, boy, do we need it now, Lauren. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. I've saved the best till now. <laughs> I won't forget it. <laughs> okay, let's let's have some fun today. I'm saving the best till right now. now. Say right here. Right, right here. here. Right, right now. now. Right now. Fill me. Fill, Fill me. me. With this new wine. Yes. This, this new wine. wine. This new revelation. New revelation. From heaven. From heaven. In Jesus' name. In, In Jesus, Jesus' name. name. Amen. 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 My kingdom has come. My government has come. He said, saints, if you start to understand, this is what the Lord's putting on my heart today. <laughs> Who is this king of glory? Mighty is he. He's a king of kings. Lord of the lords. <laughs> Worship his majesty. When you start seeing him, as the king of everything, total dominion over all things. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this at you. I was preaching one day and sharing out of prison, and they had eight checkered boards on the outside, and I was speaking to the prisoners, and I asked them, I said, Can I ask you a question? Who's the best checkerboard player here? Well, five, six of them. Well, I am. Well, I am. Well, I am. I am. I said, okay, guys, I hear you. Let me ask you a question, though. In checkers, what's the ultimate goal? Well, of course, quite a few of them said, well, to win. Common sense. One guy, though, says this. My ultimate goal is to get on his territory, and he has to king me. <laughs> you got it. Why? Because once you're king, what can you do? Everything. All things. <laughs> you can move anywhere on the board. Absolutely. Yeah. Even on their side yes. of the board. Come on, Grandma, she's got yes. it. You say, no, wait a minute, Lauren. I'm starting to get something. If the king, Jesus, the king of, of kings... If he kings you, Amen. I can do what he does. All you getting this? If he kings you, what can you do? Can I help you? Say whatever the king can do, I can do. I can do all things through Christ who has kinged me. Now, wait a minute, Lauren. What? You sure that's biblical? You know, he says this. God says, I call you guys ambassadors. What is an ambassador? Anybody got an idea? If you, if you, if you brother, were an ambassador of the United States of America and we sent you over to another country, you are an ambassador of the United States of America. When you, brother, go to another country, all you do is represent, as an ambassador, the United States of America. Mm -hmm. They don't even want to hear your opinion. What they want from you as an ambassador is what does your governmental head say about this situation? You represent that country. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 
When you become a born-again believer, spirit-filled believer, God says you become an ambassador. Represent him. Representing the country of heaven on earth. Say now. 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 Y'all getting something today? Amen. Yes. This is so huge. That's why he's speaking to me. And, and I got to bring it back to this. Do you know what sets you free? Truth. Say truth. truth. If we would start believing what God has said about us, we can start walking on our circumstances instead yes. of our circumstances dictating to Come us. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, Lauren, I didn't know I had that authority. See, the devil's done, you're playing the checkers with the devil. The devil tries to keep you uninformed in who you really are. You guys feel like you're just about ready to worship a God that says, I have a whole lot more for you. Do you believe that God even has a divine healing program? Yes. And you know what the cost of it is? Faith. It's already, it's already yours. Amen. He says, all you got to do is believe it and receive it. Mm -hmm. Start walking and proclaiming. That's why he says, whose report will you believe? Let's worship. I totally surrender and say, God, I'm empty. I know nothing, but I want to know everything about you because you have everything before me. God said in his word, I'm smelling him right now. His presence is here. He says this, I set, now get this, I set before you, set before you the way of life and a way of death. Choose life. Choose me. Mm -hmm. I am the way truth. Truth. Mm -hmm. and the life. So let's worship him. my friend. 